in Oakland, California, and we are at the Oakland Museum. I'm here with the family, and we're gonna check out Out the Box, the rise of sneaker culture. Hi! We're here. We gotta go around the street from 10th to Oak and end up there. here at the Oakland Museum. They have the out of the box rise of sneaker culture here in Oakland up until April 2nd and I needed to have, ooh. They have a collection of books here. I actually have this one. Sneakers, the complete collector's guide. Got the chucks. Cold streetwear. On the left you have the Nike Cortez from 1972 and then on the right the Nike Waffle Trainer from 1974. Dipping into the 1980s we got aerobics, Reebok, Pro Keds, Pumas. There's one actually signed by Walt Clyde Fla Frazier. A sneaker by Magic Johnson, the Converse Weapon, 1986. Got some ponies, the M100s from 1989. British Knights, 1985. So as you can see, Nike Archives. The 20 here is from the Nike Archives. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this might be the placement in which it is in the archives. from Nike. You got the 17 and some of them are actually from co individual collectors. So this one's from Thad J.S. Seelin. 
They actually have Michael Johnson's gold shoe from 1996. The left foot is a size 10 and a half and the right is an 11. The Air Jordan 3 here is from uh, 1994. It's a retro of the 1988 and it's from the Nike archives as well. Big shoe. The Nike Air Trainer 1 from 1987, also from the Nike archives. It's an original right there. My all time favorite, the Air Jordan 11 Concord. This is also from the Nike archives. Penny Hardaway's Foam Posit 1, Royal Blue Edition. Also from the Nike archives from 1997. This is the Nike Air Zoom Flight 95 High. It's a player sample from 1995, worn by Jason Kidd. The Reebok Blast from 1996. This is actually from the Reebok archives and is dated January 6, 1996. Reebok Commitment 1988. A few items here from Supra, Under Armour, Common Projects. Visvim. Here's the Onitsuka Tiger, originally worn by Bruce Lee. And shout out to OSD Live. This is from the collection of D Wills, Nike Air Max 95. So we got some pretty interesting items here. These are customs. This one's actually from Mosh. This is the Air Force 25 from 2012. Look how nice this Air Jordan 1 from 1985 looks like. This is actually from the Nike archives. Look at the shape. Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 2, the Air Jordan 3, this is actually the 94, here's the Air Jordan 4 from 1989, the Air Jordan 5 from 1990, the Air Jordan 6 from 1991, the Air Jordan 7, the Air Jordan 8, the Air Jordan 9, the Air Jordan 10 with the toe cap. The Air Jordan Columbia Blue from 1996. The black and red Air Jordan 12. The Air Jordan 13. It's a sneaker I need. This is the Air Jordan 14 ginger colorway. This is the Air Jordan 15. This is the Air Jordan 16. They actually used the countdown pack of 2008. Air Jordan 17. Air Jordan 18. Air Jordan 19. I do not have this colorway. The Air Jordan 20, this is actually the countdown pack of 2008. The Jordan 21, Jordan 22, and the Air Jordan 23. Wow, so that was an amazing exhibit. Uh, it's actually a traveling exhibit. And the next stop is Sydney, Australia. So after April 2nd, that's where it's going. Um, I'm actually glad that I was able to witness this in person. It is the last US stop before, I don't know, whenever, wherever they take it. So, and it's about $4 extra from the regular admission, which is about $15.95. So you'll spend about 20 bucks if you wanna see the exhibit. But um, glad you guys saw it, glad you came along. Glad you guys can come on an adventure. Um, and also got myself a book.
This was uh, $45, but I got it for 50% off, so about $24 after tax. So all the shoes that are in the museum are in here. Uh, awesome piece to add to the collection.